Step one, you gotta put on ramps. They usually work pretty good. Step two, you gotta make sure the steering wheel doesn't move. You can pull back the seat so the seat belt tightens. It must be completely straight. Do the other end first because you can't tighten it, but the seat belt, you can tighten the seat back. The reason why you need to absolutely keep a wheel straight is mostly because of, almost entirely because of a clock spring. There's a spring inside your steering wheel that rotates, so if it rotates and then you connect the steering shaft properly and you turn the wheel all the way right or left, it'll break and you're gonna get an expensive part. So make, this absolutely has to remain straight. Now go underneath the dashboard. You'll see it right here. There's a, there's a M10 triple square. So get a triple square socket. Also, you should get a pen like this. You buy at Home Depot and mark a straight line where we all kind of meet from a shaft to the upper shaft that connects to your steering wheel. So it's a straight line like that. So just start going at it. We took it out. So now you should be able to just pop it out. You should you wanna bang on this part down so it kind of disconnects. Let's see if I can do it. You can do it even with your hand if you want. It is telescopic, so you can push it down and just twist a little bit. There we go. See now it's off. So one part is done. If you want to take out two panels from the underside, it's pretty easy, so I won't show you instructions. So you want to go over here. And here's where that shaft connects to your steering rack. And the same M10 triple square. So you just want to take that out. You can see there's a bunch of oil in it because I've been greasing it over the years, but not really well. And that's where it goes into the cabin. So just take the M10 triple square and undo this bolt. Probably will break your bar, it's gonna be rusty. See here, you wanna kinda of shake that marker and mark a straight, spot, a straight line from the shaft to your steering rack to make sure you kinda of remember how it goes. So I listened to a breaker bar, so now I just wanna go and get, get a wrench and just Once again, I just took it out. Here it is. We're gonna use a new bolt, so you don't need that one. Once again, it is telescopic, so you should be able to grab it and just pull it off, but probably not. Oh, there we go. Oh, and we got it out. Next part is trying to get it out of the firewall right there. To get it out of the firewall, you do need to pull it down, don't go up. So if we pull it, but it won't go. There is a big rubber gasket here, so let's see if we can pull it out. Pull on these little four tabs. Get her kind of come out. And be careful. 
flare things very hot. Even if it's hours after. Ow. There we go, just pull on it. It should come out. There we go. You have the two shafts, so the bottom one is the old one, the top is a new one, you can see this one. Um, bar number ends with a G, and this one ends with a H, so this is a new iteration, so maybe we'll fix something. And we're going to do the same thing here, we're just going to mark our spots right here uh, on both parts. Here we are marked. It's not really necessary, but it helps me align some stuff. So now let's go put the, the new one back in. So everyone understands there's a marking on the boot. The arrows have to be pointing up. So this is going to be on the inside of the car. So that's going to connect to a steering wheel. It's going to connect to the steering rack. But first, we got to clean the bolt threads. They almost must be clean. So take your steering shaft and feed it through the hole. You got to put it all over the collar. So once the grommet kind of seats over the edge there, it should make a nice seal. It's not going to look perfect. We can always twist it once we connect the shaft, but that's how it looks like. So now we can go on the other side and uh, seat the grommet, the boot on the other side as well. So once the other side is seated, we can come up here and try to fix the situation here. You just want to get that outer ring inside the cabin around that little hole. Before we get started uh, connecting the steering shaft, you want to clean the threads. I know it's new, but I would recommend you always clean these threads and use new bolts. Always use new bolts. Never reuse these bolts. From Harbor Freight and just clean it. So now to connect it to your steering shaft, remember where your lines are. Remember, look at the lines on the steering rack. Uh, since it's not a perfect circle, it's not round, it only will fit two ways because the insides are squared off in there. So this is the way we got to do it. Just move it around, extend it, and then just pop it back. Here we go. Perfect. Here are the new screws. Always, please always use the new screws. I already have some things called the paint or Loctite on them. But I'm actually, since these parts can use a lot of vibration, can uh, experience a lot of vibration, I'll just put a little bit on the head and let that cure just to be safe. Get some thread lock and just screw it back in. I'm going to torque it as well. Um, do your research. I th believe it's 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. So just torque it to that and you should be all set. Uh, 
Once I'm back inside the cabin, we need to put well, on the other end now. It is telescopic. You can't push it back in and use mostly your hands. So remember your lines, line, line, looking pretty good. So you just need to jiggle it and put it on. Okay, let's try it. This takes a little bit of finessing. Gotta slide all the way in so it's not in yet. If it doesn't work, just take it back out. No problem, and just try it again. So remember, it's telescopic, you gotta press it back up. And see it's all the way in and the lines match up ah, you're good this you're also just now take the other bolt same deal up front you have to clean the threads New bolt, M10, triple square. Put a little Loctite on the bolt cap and just torque it to uh, another 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. So you can see a little bit of Loctite. And just keep going with your fingers. Don't get the Loctite on you. And now continue your socket. Lines line up. Yep, looking good. And now, just you gotta play around the boot to make sure it kind of looks right. The the the, the arrow is pretty straight, but I'll turn it to the to right and get rid of that little bubble that right there and just play around with it, seat it, and then you should be good to go. You can't really screw it up too bad. So I kind of play around with it. The bubble's gone. Kind of looking more straight and uh, just check now the underside as well. So the boot here is pretty nicely seated as well. 
just playing around with it, make sure everything's good. You can't really screw it up too bad once again. Just make sure it won't let moisture into the cabin. At this point, you're pretty much done. Just uh, pull it back the trim, take the uh, seat belt off the steering wheel, and um, uh, take it for a test ride. But the fret lock does take a few hours to cure, ideally 24 hours. So I'm just gonna let this car sit overnight to make sure that the fret lock cures, and uh, it's all set to go.